Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bit of history and this is coming from Colt. This particular 1911 was manufactured in 1968 and this emanated from Colt's uh, entry into a post-World War II uh, contest, if you will, where the military wanted to find a replacement for the M1911 pistol. The requirements were issued in 1949, and the requirements were that in, uh, it had to be chambered in 9mm, could not exceed 7 inches in length, and could not weigh more than 25 ounces. Some of the candidates that entered were variants of the Browning High Power, and these were entered by Canada's English, if I pronounce that correctly, if not, please let me know. Also Belgium's FN, Fabrique Nationale, and Smith & Wesson with their Model 39. Now what Colt did is they entered a modified version of the M911 pistol, and this was chambered in 9mm, had aluminum alloy frame, alloy frame, and a shorter 4.25 inch barrel. It also had a 9 round magazine. So in that particular contest, my understanding is that the Army did not award the contest to any of the manufacturers that entered. So in 1950, Colt decided wisely to put this pistol into regular production. As I mentioned before, it has aluminum frame, and this has been safety checked. It has the mag and it has a snap cap in it. But, I mean, sorry with the focus here. Hold on a second. Let it catch up. Okay, there you go. So, as I mentioned before, it has an, an aluminum frame. It was chambered in 9mm, but it was also later made available in 45 ACP and in 38 Super. The reason I wanted to show you this pistol and I wanted to uh, showcase it in this short video is because it was the first mass-produced pistol to have an aluminum alloy frame and it was also Colt's first pistol to be chambered in 9mm. And this for being a, a pistol made in 1968, it is in pristine shape. It has Colt's old style bluing. It has the arched mainspring housing. The sights are metal, they're fixed, very low profile. Let's see if you can see it there. And the front sight, very low profile, not very useful sights, but that's what you're stuck with. It's got a spurred hammer with texture on the top, very nice fitting if you can see the back. It also has originally, the original came with plastic grips. This one has the cold uh, wood checkered grips with a rampart cold medallion in the center. Let you take a look at it on this side. It's got a bit of a small mag release. And I'm not going to go into the disassembling and uh, trigger testing and all that. In this video I just wanted to showcase the pistol because for being as old as it is, it's in fantastic shape and the historical value of it being the first uh, metal uh, alloy and uh, frame and also Colt's first 9mm production pistol. As mentioned before, it was produced in 1968, 9mm. The capacity is 9 plus 1. The total length of the pistol is 8 inches. It weighs 26 and a half ounces. And the barrel is 4 and a half inches. Now depending on where you find it and if you can find one and of course the condition that you find it, these are retailing and sometimes at auction anywhere between $1,200 and $1,800. That's what you can expect to pay for one of these. 
Now, for those of you that are new to shooting or new to 1911s, and you may not know the difference between what's a commander, a government, and an officer frame, but just quickly, the government frame is the bigger one. It's a full size and it's mostly uh, with a five inch barrel and more and around the eight, eight and a quarter inch in overall length. The commander, which is this, so it's about middle of the road, is, um, well, not too much smaller than the full size. It's got about a three quarters of an inch shaved off the barrel and of the slide but in a little bit smaller in the grip frame, but otherwise it's, it's a little bit smaller, but not that much smaller. And then the smallest one is the officer frame. And the, the barrels on the officer frames are roughly around three and a half inches or so. So those are the three typical sizes of 1911s. So here you go, short, short video. Let the focus catch up, let you take a good look at it. And I just wanted to show this 1968 Colt 1911 Lightweight Commander. Pretty cool. And the other thing that makes this gun to me interesting and special is that it has the original box. This is the original Colt box. And it still has the wax paper. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the short video on the Colt 1911 Lightweight Commander. Thank you for watching. I put out videos every Friday afternoon, so please swing by if you'd like to click the subscribe button and the notification button so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I also upload content to Instagram and to Facebook, so please do stop by there as well. And until the next one, thank you and God bless.